Let's build an outfit. I've got five new pickups for you here and I'm building an outfit. I'm gonna throw them all on piece by piece and at the end, you're gonna see how the entire outfit looks. This is a more grown man style approach, meaning it's a little bit more mature, a little bit more reserved, but it still has a little bit of that streetwear flair sprinkled on the top. You'll see what I mean at the end of the video. Let me know if you guys enjoy this, where I'm building something Let's hop right into it. I hope you guys enjoy. First up, we have a sweater from Ralph Lauren. What makes this one important is the texture, that cable knit design that is on the sweater. It makes it stand out more. It's not just some basic sweater. It gives it a more grown and elevated look. I grabbed this one from Ralph Lauren just because I like the color and I love small little details. So obviously the low horse there on the left side is as classic as it gets. Now there's one problem with this sweater and a lot of the other sweaters that I own. It's the material that they're made from. Wool is very itchy, for me at least. When I put a wool sweater on, I get that slight itch and it just feels uncomfortable. Although it's very warm and a lot of the patterns that are on wool sweaters, I like and I'm just always torn where I'm like, okay, this is gonna be itchy and scratchy, but I do love the way it looks. What do I do? And the solution to that is today's video sponsor, which is Bombas. If you're unfamiliar with Bombas, they make incredible t-shirts, underwear, slippers, and of course socks. They are my go-to brand for socks. I'm gonna link everything from Bombas down in the description, as well as a promo code for you guys. But listen, the solution to an itchy sweater is this long sleeve Supima cotton t-shirt. This is the one. This is the perfect t-shirt to wear underneath an itchy sweater. It is incredibly soft. It feels like silk. For your base layer, it's not gonna get much better than this. I wear their Supima cotton white t-shirts underneath a lot of my clothing, but this one is gonna serve a different purpose because if it's under the sweater, it's gonna protect your arm, your body, from touching the material so it's not itchy at all. All of a sudden, it's gonna make this irritating sweater that you wanna wear because it looks good more desirable and make sure you use my promo code. Supima cotton is not cheap. It is an elevated material. So my promo code will help you out. It's Eddie 20. It'll get you 20% off every item purchased from the Bombas website. They donate an equal item to a homeless shelter. It's linked down below. So go ahead, shop the website. Shout out to Bombas for sponsoring this one. Okay, so we have the top covered and we are moving our way down. Let's talk about some denim. We've got a pair of light wash, straight fit denim from The Gap. And the biggest point here is the straight fit. Now, I go back and forth between slim fit and straight fit. A lot of times I prefer slim fit. It's a little bit more of a tailored look, which I think works well with a grown man style. However, I've been searching for a good straight fit denim. I don't want all my pants to be sitting behind the tongue of my shoe. So I wanted to find a pair of straight fit denim that wasn't too baggy, wasn't super relaxed, and wasn't like these wide cargo pants that are super popular right now, and I haven't jumped in on that trend. I'm not saying it's whack or anything like that. It just, I'm not there yet, that's all. This is probably one of the most traditional pairs of jeans that you could buy. As far as fit, as far as color, as far as everything goes. These will be the pants that I am working with for this outfit. Moving on, let's talk about the footwear. Ame Leondor did a collaboration with New Balance and they brought back a boot from the 80s. I'm sure you guys have seen it. We've got the New Balance and Ame Leondor collaboration on the Rainier model. I saw these when I visited the uh, New Balance headquarters in the summer and I was I was like a laser beam. Like, I need those. I, I got to hopefully get a pair and it was somewhat easy. You have this beautiful brown suede on here, a little bit of Gore-Tex, some green accent colors, and this is just a perfect boot in my opinion. There was a few different lace options. I went with the green. This is that next level collaboration exclusive footwear. However, a lot of people might not even know it. This looks like it's something that could be sold at L.L. Bean and nobody would even know. So the final move here is with 
a liner vest. Two of them here actually, just to show you that there's multiple different options. I've got this one on the left, it's from The Gap. I've had it for a few years now. And this one from Everlane that is black. I just got this. And they both do the same thing. There's not a lot to these. There's very little padding. And what it does is it breaks up your outfit, of course. It adds a layer without being too warm. And then you're putting it on top of your cashmere or wool sweater with the Bombas t-shirt underneath. So this is a warm top. So you're not gonna overheat by throwing on a liner vest right here, but you still get that look. And then you're throwing on your traditional straight fit denim that sits nicely on your footwear. It covers it a little bit, just covers that tongue, but not fully. You can still show it off. And then on top of all of that, you have the choice to accessorize. That's the outfit right there. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this content, building an outfit. Hit that thumbs up if you did, and subscribe if you're new around here. I'll catch you next time. Peace.